Now that's how you finish a season. Hey guys, this is my review here for the final episode of season one of Westworld, episode 10, and it was good. I will make it one opening remark. I was wrong. Last episode, I thought that for sure the Man in Black theory was impossible. The means in which how the characters transported themselves from scene to scene and the layers of the timeline made absolutely no sense to me. And it still kind of doesn't, but it was in fact proven. However, that's not the main thing that was so cool about this episode. It was the final part. This episode is basically a congregation of the three main narratives. The quest for the maze, uh, Thaddea Newton's escape, and the relationship between Dol Dolores and Ford. And that was the key. Throughout this show, I have constantly remarked about how this show is so good at giving the idea of what it would be like to develop consciousness in an AI. And this episode finally pretty much finished the puzzle. The whole idea of the maze as was repeatedly told to Ed Harris's character that it's not for him. And that's the something that kept on coming up when I was thinking about it. If this was made by Arnold, and he cared so much for the machines, why would he make something called the maze for other people to find if it wasn't just somewhere, something inward? The maze, the symbol that we kept seeing, if I'm correct, what I saw from another video was actually a Brazilian, or it's a, it's a mind puzzle. It's a symbol that has been long used as a means of uh, the inner idea of consciousness, and that's what this episode was. It was the final piece of the puzzle for Dolores discovering true consciousness. That it wasn't anyone else telling her what to do, it was her. This episode was so cool in explaining everything that had been come before. We still have a few things that are unknown, but admittedly it kind of felt like a bit of Nolan writing. This was a Nolan directed episode, there was a bit of exposition I will admit. However, throughout the whole episode, time was just flying by and I did not want it to end. I enjoyed this season finale so much and its final conclusion that Ford had finally understood what Arnold had been trying to do and now he had set everything in motion for it to happen. We also found out that there is in fact other worlds, which is kind of a given because that was what was in the movie. But the thing is, this show is not going to be in Westworld anymore. This was something I was kind of wondering what it was going to happen. If this was going to go five seasons, how are we going to stay in the world when the consciousness or the level of consciousness in the AI is still rapidly increasing? It's not, or at least it won't in a sense. We are going to establish ourselves into the other worlds. The, it looks like a samurai world. In the movie there was Roman world and then there was medieval world. What is this one gonna do? We basically have now reached the point in where the movie everything went crazy. And while we don't have the main bad guy from that movie, we have now an entire army of pissed off robots who can now hurt people which ed harris saw that was pretty fun when he got shot he's like oh wow an actual challenge now however there's one thing that this episode has absolutely no way of explaining itself is how the fuck ed harris got himself into a tuxedo despite having a broken arm otherwise this episode was phenomenal throughout the entire thing. There is still some questions we're gonna have to wonder though until we see this show return for season two. What happened to the main guy of security? What happened to him? He got knocked out at the end of episode nine and we didn't see him at all in this episode, so he's still hidden. We also saw that little part at the end of the season after the credits and everything. If you guys watched all the credits, the woman with the snake was able to cut off her own arm and then totally pass it off as nothing. Does this mean now that they know how to, uh, they now know 
that they can take as much pain as they feel necessary or they, they don't have a pain threshold anymore. Ergo, would this explain then Wyatt's people? We also found out another thing about this episode is that we found out that Dolores was Wyatt. I understood this pretty much within the first 10 minutes, but still to see that be established now that we see Arnold's plan being continued by Ford. And I even said, I think I even said, what, episode 4, episode 5 review, that I thought Ford was self-destroying. Because where can you go once you've become God? You want to see your own thing destroy itself. Just like when we play a Sim City, right? Whenever we play Sim City, we build up this thing, but we do want to see it get destroyed just a bit, even if. And that's what I feel happened in this episode, too. I enjoyed all of Westworld. Now, admittedly, as I am not able to follow everything as much as I have, this show has been amazing from a fan community's perspective with so many people engaging in conversations, making videos, having all these different theories and everything. I really do enjoy this part because not only is Westworld the show being created and developed by, uh, by the uh, creator, Jonathan Nolan, everyone part of the team, but it's also being intricated by us, the viewers, as this, I've never seen a show have so much input in terms of what was go what's going to happen next from a show like Westworld. Now people from Game of Thrones, I know there's a huge following for that, but this show really has had so many theories, so many ideas, and such fan reception that I can't wait to see where the next season goes. I've enjoyed watching Westworld so much and I've enjoyed this season immensely and I cannot wait to talk about it more. I am going to give Westworld season one finale a 7 out of 7. I enjoyed this episode immensely. I love how it ended. I love where the characters went. And I actually like that this season ended on a good note. That we actually had a season finale of a show that doesn't make you go, Oh, crap. Damn, that ended on a bad note. I just have had so much experience with, with other shows of just having a kind of a lacking season finale. Or something that doesn't really like, wants makes you want to come back but on an annoying part I can't wait for season two but I am more than ready to wait as much as I'd want to see it I feel that we ended on a good enough note that we are I'm, I'm set for season two anyway guys I hope you've enjoyed all these reviews uh, I've kind of I've been a bit slow with them admittedly and I hope to improve on that for next time but either way I hope you guys have enjoyed these reviews I hope you've enjoyed Westworld I'll see you for season two.